Oh, sorry about that. Uh, sorry about the kind of badness of that. Anyways, this is the Plunger Zombies uh, Garden Warfare Plush gameplay overview. So today I will be going over all of the characters, all of their abilities. Then we will also be going over all of the maps and all of the game modes. So let's get into it. Uh, start. Oh, there we go. Um, I guess we should um, get straight into it and show the characters and their powers. Oh, well that was a little clunkier than I would have liked it to be. Um, yeah, by the time that this game is out, it will be less, you know, bad and stuff. Uh, let's go into the plants. So, as for the plants, we have Pea Shooter. He, his special, his profession is the attacker. And his three attacks are the Chili Bean Bomb, Hyper P, and P Gatling. You probably all know that by now. Well, let's go into the next one. Next one we got is Sunflower. Sunflower's profession is the healer. Her special effects are heal, sunbeam, and heal flower. Don't mind the other stuff over here. They're not really, you know, they're not unlocked yet. Now let's go to the next one. Chomper. Chomper's profession is the close range attacker. His special, his specials are spikeweed, burrow, and goop. Now let's go to the fourth one. Cactus. His profession is sniper, and he his specials are potato mine, drone, and walnut. And as you can already see from all of the ones that I've done so far, these are all Plancher Zombies Garden Warfare 1 characters. But that'll all change when we go to the next character, which is Citron. Yes. Citron's profession is the swift mover, so he can move around very freely and very quickly. His specials are the EM Peach, Ball Roll, which the Ball Roll, the ball roll has its own specials, which are Unball, where you go back into your normal self, Speed, where you go fast in your vault, and then, charge attack, where you essentially go bowling. And the last special for Citron is shield. Now let's go into the sixth and final plant, which is Colonel Pult, or Mr. Cobb. His profession is the cool guy, because really he doesn't have that much else. His specials are spin, corn hob, corn hop and butter barrage and as you can see over here there are two other characters but we'll get into that later now let's go back to the main hub okay now we're back at the main hub might as well go and uh, show you the new multiplayers As you can see right here, you can see all of the new mil multiplayers. Team Vanquish. Vanquish confirmed. Gardens and Graveyards. Herbal Assault. Gnome Bomb. And Suburbanation. And also Taco Bandits. And right here, it's kind of hard to see, but it says Teams. I'll probably... That, that's a bug that we'll probably change later. But if we go into Teams... There we go. We can change what kind of teams the plants or the zombies will be on. From Planter Zombies, Garden Warfare, Plants, Planter Zombies, Garden Warfare 2 Plants, and so on. And you can even make one round only one thing, but that usually causes bugs, so I hope that all of the people playing this will just press the all button. Now let's go back into the main hub again. Okay, we're back. 
Now, how about we go into Garden Ops? There we go, now we're in Garden Ops, and this one is pretty cool because you can either choose or randomize your map. Pick how many players you want. Now, there's eight players because there's eight plants that you can play as in total. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And, I have to say already, if, if you do more than four plants, if you do more than four players, then there will be two gardens to uh, protect, because then it'll just be overpowered. And we don't want it to just be super hard. So, why not just make it two gardens? And you also have the level of difficulty here, easy, normal, hard, crazy, and the zombies. You get to choose if it's normal, plants or zombies, garden warfare, plush zombies only, bosses, and mix. Then you can start and go back, but I'm gonna press back. Okay, now that we're done with that, how about we check out the stickers, which this is also kind of clunky, so bear with me. Oh! Well. Looks like we have nothing here, so far. So that's a very big bummer. I'll have to talk about the team on that, so I guess let's just go back now. Okay. Now, um... Let's hop into solo mode. Um... Here we go. Okay, now we're in the lounge. Now, just to make this go by so then we don't have to see this clunky screen, I'll just pick Pea Shooter as my main plant. Gosh, this is horrible. <laughs> yeah. We haven't really put much into this game mode already, so you can see how it's kind of clunky. I mean, like, there's not even anything over here. Now, if we had the sticker pack working, then we would be able to show you how all of the sticker pack stuff would affect solo mode, but I guess we'll just leave that for just you guys playing the game yourself. Um... So, yeah, that's that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I am happy to say that the Planes for Zombies Garden Warfare plush will be released on... Wait for it, wait for it. Sometime this week. I know, right? So intense. You'll never know when it's coming. It will be coming sometime this week, though. This video is sponsored- No, it's not. The end. Tall turtle. Ha, ah, you can't see it. <laughs> Yeah.